Hi guys, and welcome to what is going to be a very fun and productive reading vlog because this week I am starting my thesis. <laughs> yeah. And at the end of the week, it's gonna be Halloween. And on top of that, of course, I still want to make time to read books and share what I'm reading with you guys. But before we get into all of that, I have a very mysterious package to unbox for you guys. So let me tell you the story of how I got this package. I was outside uh, and I happened to just run into my neighbor and he was like, oh, hey, I still have a package for uh, your house. Uh, and I was like, oh, sure, it's probably for one of my housemates, but I'll take it with me. And then he was like, yeah, this is a package for Leonie. And you could probably see the very confused look on my face because he said, oh, is there no Leonie living in your house? And I was like, no, yes, yes, that's me. I just didn't order a package, <laughs> um, but I just took it and then a while later I realized, wait, I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. Um, so now I'm going to unbox it and see if I'm right. And if I'm right, it's a very fun bookish item. Oh, it's a package within a package. Oh my god, there's so much tape on this. But as you can see, <laughs> this is a package from Emposia Blankets and they sent me one of their blankets for free uh, for me to unbox in this video. And I was very excited about that because I always thought their products look super cool. Sorry, sorry to ruin your pretty box, Emposia. <laughs> Woo. Oh, that's the wrong side. It's a bookish blanket. So Emposia makes hooded blankets with bookish design. Oh, I see there's a button. Right. Beautiful. I'm having fun. This is what you're gonna see me wearing in the, the, <laughs> the rest of the reading vlog, just behind my computer, like. <laughs> Thank you, Emposia, for sending this to me. And if you think this is cool, they have more designs on their website. Can't wait to walk around the house like this and scare all my housemates. So my plan for the rest of the day is to start with my thesis. I'm going to start slowly. It's already noon, so I'm just going to do some basic work. And then after that, uh, I can talk to you about the books that I'm reading this month. Oh, okay, so it just got dark real fast. The clocks just got turned back an hour yesterday, so I still have to adjust to the fact that it's getting dark way quicker. Spent the entire afternoon working on my thesis. I didn't get done everything that I wanted to do because, as always, things just took a lot longer than I expected they would. I'm finding it really difficult to just tell myself that I'm just gonna stop. You know, it's evening. I noticed that I really have the urge to just keep going. I'm very used to having a deadline in a week, but this deadline is in two months. So I have to get used to the fact that <laughs> of like, no, I don't have to work every moment that I have because I need to reach a deadline. I can, I can do the rest tomorrow, I can chill now. Anyway, let's just talk about the books that I'm actually reading right now. I'm still reading Get a Life Chloe. <laughs> I'm still reading Get a Life Chloe Brown and really enjoying this one. I still have about 60 pages left. Uh, and honestly, I feel like the only thing that I can read right now is just, <laughs> it's just like funny romances because I honestly cannot handle anything that's more difficult than that at the moment. It's about this girl, Chloe who has a list to get a life. It's like, you know, going camping, riding a mower bike and having meaningless sex for one night, things like that. And then of course she meets a really cute neighbor and it's all fun from there on. So love this one. Uh, but then the other book that I'm also reading right now is Wilder Girls by Rory Powers. This is like a dystopian slash thriller slash mystery slash horror about a bunch of girls that are stuck on an island and they all have really weird mutations that they don't understand where they come from. But what I'm gonna do right now is um, 
order some sushi because I want to reward myself for doing my first day of thesis work. This is really just me rewarding myself for doing the bare minimum, but I still want to do it anyway. <laughs> You know, the thing is, when I'm working all day and have to concentrate on all day, I get very, very snackish. So, grocery haul. <laughs> We've got the classic, some crisps. I have some microwave popcorn. I have um, kruidnoten. I don't know what that would be called in English. Oh, another healthy snack. I uh, went for the good old carrots with some harissa hummus and then because um it is it is november so it's tangerine season and those are all my study snacks I'm about halfway through in Wilder Girls right now, a little over halfway, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, the only thing is that this book is very bleak, like it has a very strong atmosphere to it, which is really good. Like it's so well done, like it's written in a way that feels very associated. Really this like feeling of existential dread, which is really well done in the writing, but it's not exactly <laughs> what I want right now. And it's also way more action-packed than I expect and it makes me want to continue reading every time that I pick it up so I'm really sad to unfortunately say that um, I have to go back to working on my thesis right now. <laughs> Good morning, it is day four of working at my thesis and <laughs> I'm already so done. <laughs> I enjoy doing it, it's not bad but the thing is just that you know I spend about five hours every day on my thesis, you know, like excluding the, all the breaks that I take. And even just that small amount of work, I just noticed that my brain's just dead at the end of the day. Like I can't, even if I take a break, like lunch break, I can't get myself to read a book. <laughs> I can't, I, all I can do is watch romantic comedies on Netflix. I don't know how I'm gonna read books for this channel. I don't know how I'm gonna film videos. I don't know why I decided to do NaNoWriMo. <laughs> how am I supposed to write 50,000 words of a novel in November when I have to write 15,000 words for my thesis? I don't know. But it is what it is. Anyway, um, my goal for today is to end up with a definitive list of articles that I'm going to use in my thesis because for over the past few days I've amassed this long list <laughs> of potential article studies that could potentially be used in my thesis. Um, there's 400 of them and I just have to screen all of them to see which ones are suitable for my thesis. So that's my plan for today is to screen 400 articles. Also, I really don't know if anyone's interested in this, but I have a Notion page where I organize my thesis. Like, this is my research question. Um, oh, I just realized that I never actually explained what my thesis is about. Broadly speaking, it's about depression and this molecule called kynurinin and kind of the role that it plays in different kinds of depression. 
it's a bit hard to explain, but this is the research question. <laughs> Here I have some pages, so this is when I was still looking for a topic. Here is where I keep all my sources. Really pretty, just in a nice table, using some tags of what kind of article it is. And I can upload them into Notion. Really great. This was just the notes in which I created my research question. And then here I have like the written text where I actually write down what, um, what's gonna be in the thesis in the end. And then here, this is my favorite part. <laughs> I just have some easy handy links that I use very often, like the protocol and just the university website on the thesis. And I use this all the time, it's really nice. Cool, let's work. I'm using the tomato timer, the little Pomodoro method. So 25 minutes of work and then five minute break and then 25 minutes of work again, works really well. today. I don't know why, it's very simple, but I really like the colors. It makes me feel very autumnal. Okay, two and a half hours later, I managed to bring the number down to 200. So I think after another three hours, I should be able to have sifted through everything and end up with like a, a list of, I don't know, maybe 50 articles that I can then really like read the full thing and see if I need to use them for my thesis. But now I'm gonna take a break. Uh, I'm making lunch. For lunch, I have another toast with cottage cheese and salad and a tangerine. And to give my eyes some time off the screen, I'm gonna try to read Wilder Girls while I have lunch. So I'm getting some reading done. <laughs> my face while reading this book is just constantly like, more and more gross things are happening. I understand now why this book is considered horror. It's not scary, but it's just kind of gross <laughs> at some point. Oh God, but this book is so good though. It is back to working on the thesis and getting that number 200 down again. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, so it is the last day of grinding for my thesis <laughs> before it's gonna be weekend. And I can assure you that the weekend is gonna be a lot more fun. I have some decoration plans because I bought some stuff last weekend that I also wanna show you. So it's gonna be a lot of fun on the weekend. But first, my goal for today is to carefully read those 55 articles that I was left with yesterday and see if they meet my inclusion and exclusion criteria and then hopefully end up with a nice organized list so that next week I can start reading and analyzing everything for the analysis of thesis. But yesterday evening I finished Wilder Girls so let me first talk to you a little bit about that. I really enjoyed it. I do understand kind of why some people would be disappointed with the ending. You don't really get a lot of answers at the end. How I interpret it is that that's kind of the point <laughs> because the horror of this book is that it's very ominous, very kind of it gives you a feeling of existential dread because you don't know what's going on and I feel like the theme of this book is kind of about that. The scary thing is that sometimes Nature is scary and it does things to your body that you don't understand. And we always expect that we'll just end up understanding everything. But the reality is that sometimes we just don't. Anyway, it was one of those books that I finished and I just couldn't do anything the rest of the evening because I was I was just I was just sitting on the couch just like staring like because it filled me with so much dread. I think if you like the movie Annihilation, you're really gonna focus. <laughs> I think if you really like the movie Annihilation, you're gonna like this book because it has a very similar vibe. So now the only thing that rests me is uh, working hard the rest of the Friday and then I can finish Get a Life Chloe Brown this evening and then this weekend 
we're gonna have all the fun. But now, we just gotta work. Patience, Alpha 8 Major Depressive Disorder. So you actually, you do not uh, focus specifically on, for example, studies in which participants can score. myself some croissants and I finished get a life Chloe Brown <laughs> it's Halloween today I'm gonna be honest um, I don't really have any plans other than wearing this Jack Skellington nightmare before Christmas t-shirt because of course it would not be a good idea to meet up with people so I'm gonna have Halloween night on my own and now that I finished get a life Chloe Brown we need to hunt for a new book to read but first let me tell you about this one. Oh, it was so good <laughs> It was so wholesome, like honestly, I need to read more romance novels because they make me so happy. Nothing toxic is happening, it's just two people and they're just having a good time. And of course there are problems, but it's never annoying because you understand. It's just like both their flaws kind of clashing sometimes. It's just nice. Yesterday I watched After We Collided movie. Horrible, hated it, most toxic relation ever. And then it's very refreshing to just read a romance novel where the romance is not toxic, but actually good. This was a good time. Now I'm just gonna have my little croissants and then um, we'll have a, a fun day together. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do today is reorganize my bookshelf. I've been wanting to do that for a very, very long time, but I wanna film it and now I have time. So that video will probably go up maybe a week or half a week later than you're seeing this but i can show you right now what it looks like i can show you the before and after this is my bookshelf now oh sorry for the <laughs> weird red fingers <laughs> i tried to take off my um nail polish but as you can see it didn't go very well but i guess it just looks very halloweeny but this is the before it's organized by color but i want to do it a bit different and this it's the after shot. I organized them by genre and I now have a little shelf for my favorite books. These are my TBR books. This is classics. This is science fiction. This is adult fantasy, YA fantasy, nonfiction, and then the few thriller and contemporary books that I have. I'm really happy with it. Okay, I think the next thing we're gonna do is choose which book I can read next this weekend. Uh, let's see what I'm gonna read. This is my TBR pile. I am in the mood for something really easy to read. You know, I'm busy with my thesis. I can't really get into like anything difficult or classic or anything. You know, when I pick up a book, I pick up a book because I really want to just take my mind off things. So I want something easy to read right now. So for example, that means that something like Jane Eyre, which I really, really want to read. Uh, I just don't think that's gonna happen right now. Same thing goes for nonfiction or like a deep thriller. We have The Watchmaker of Filigree St Street. Hmm, I could um, Should I? It's just that I tried reading this once and I couldn't really get into it. Same goes for Neverwhere. These are both books I tried reading once and couldn't get through. And I know I currently don't have the energy to try to get through them. The Night Circus. I do want to read this one. I might read it soon, but I'm gonna buddy read this. Ooh! Big letters, I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna buddy read this with my housemate. If I'm gonna buddy read this, I also wanna have at least one other book that I can just read at my own pace. So then the only two books that I have left <laughs> on my bookshelf that are very easy reads are two YA fantasy books, Fable and To Kill a Kingdom. <laughs> but as you can probably tell by the, the covers, these are both like nautical sea themed books and I'm just not. I'm just not in the mood. Here's the thing, I got this in a fairy loot box, but I, I kind of need hype to start reading it because right now I'm kind of like, mm, not super interested in it. So if you've read this book and liked it, please hype it up to me in the comments. And then we have To Kill a Kingdom, uh, which I am excited about. It's just that 
I'm just not, I don't know if I'm in the mood for like a, a sea story. It is enemies to lovers though. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I think I'm just gonna go book shopping because I put myself on a book buying ban because I got so many <laughs> books on my TBR right now. I told myself that there were few books that I would allow myself to buy because they're very anticipated new releases for the autumn and I happen to know that some of the bookstores in my city have those books, which doesn't happen very often. So I think I'm just gonna go to the bookstore. I'm gonna take you with me. And we're gonna see if I can choose one book there that I wanna read. <laughs> cheap young adult books are because I bought two paperbacks and I spent 35 euros uh, and yes that is correct I did buy two books I I know I said that I wasn't gonna do it but I bought two books and one of them was not on the list of books that I was allowing myself to buy but I have a good reason okay I'll explain it's just already dark outside even though it's like half past five Ugh, weird let me tell you about what I found in a secondhand bookstore there was a heart copy the Barnes and Noble's exclusive edition of Vengeful and it was signed by V. Schwab. Oh, you're all gonna scream at me right now, but I didn't buy it because I still don't really know if I want to read Vengeful. And personally, if a book is signed, it doesn't really mean that much to me. It only means something to me if that means that I met the author and they signed my copy, but if it's just a random signature, I don't really care. So I let that one slide. But yeah, if you happen to live in Leiden, um, there is a signed copy of Vengeful in the Slecht. <laughs> Anyway, let me show you the two books that I bought. Uh, let's just start with the one that I was allowing myself to buy. The two books on my list that I was allowing myself to buy that I was kind of hesitating between were The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue by V.E. Schwab and A Deadly Education by Naomi Nervak. I really want to read both of them, but I heard that The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue is pretty tragic. And like I said, I need something light. And I heard that A Deadly Education is actually kind of comedic. <laughs> this is such ugly lighting, but I bought A Deadly Education by Naomi Novak. A dark academia kind of book about this magical school where there are no teachers and there are no classes, there's just monsters, and if you don't learn how to use magic, you die. Oh my gosh, it's only 300 pages. That's not... Oh my god. Oh my god, there's like illustrations in here. I love this. I love this. <gasps> So cool! Ooh, look at the chapter headings as well. So later. Okay, I'm gonna read that tonight. This is gonna be my Halloween evening. I'm gonna read this book. Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm so excited about this. Anyway, the next book that I bought was a Dutch edition of <laughs> Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Not exactly the light read that I'm looking for right now, but I've been wanting to read this book for quite a while. I've mentioned it in earlier vlogs that my parents have like a copy of this that I started reading and I just want to have my own copy because I know that I want to read this. It's like a really dense 600 page <laughs> Russian literature book. Whenever the urge to read this book strikes, I can just pick it up and read a few pages. I'll show a good shot of these books tomorrow because this lighting is not really doing much for them. Sunday um, and today I just want to show you the fun little bits and bobs that I bought last week 
to bring some spice, some decoration into my room. But first, let me talk about a deadly education because right now I am on page 80 and um, I have to admit I'm 25% into this book and I still don't know what the plot is gonna be. Like I'm okay with books that are not very plot driven if they're very character driven but even if they're very character driven that usually means that you know the characters have a clear goal and that's what the book is about, you know, about these characters and their motives. At least so far, it's just the characters being in this school and just fighting the monsters that are in the school. But there's no, like, change or inciting incident or a specific thing that's shaking things up. It's just, they're just fighting monsters. So maybe that's the point. Maybe something's still gonna happen, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not super invested in it, which I do not expect from Naomi Novik because I love her other books. But I do like the main character, she's very sassy, <laughs> very evil, and very funny. Anyway, let me show you the fun stuff. First of all, I bought a pumpkin. I know Halloween is over, so there's absolutely no use for this, but look, it's so funny! It's like a little pumpkin within a, within a pumpkin. I also bought plants. First one we had, this little boy, is a little face, and the plants like little hairs. Love that. And then the other one that I'm a big fan of is this one. It's like a little cauldron. And then the plant itself, it's kind of like a trumpet. I have absolutely no idea what plant it is. I just know that it's a succulent. And I think they're super cute together. And then I also got another very small plant, but I just put it in a big pot. Because that way it still has all the room to grow. Oh, it's so cute. I'm really happy. A bit early maybe, but I just bought myself a nutcracker <laughs> for Christmas, okay? I always wanted to have a nutcracker because I associate the nutcracker by Tchaikovsky with Christmas so much and I think that's just because I uh, used to always watch the Barbie movie, Barbie and the Nutcracker and I gotta admit I still sometimes watch it even though I'm 23 years old it's still fun, okay? It's just nostalgia so I wanted to have a little nutcracker boy, look at this boy I really liked him because he has a little drum. We're friends now. And I'm putting him over here. And then the last one that actually is gonna require some work still is I got these dried roses and they, they still smell. And I love that. When I hang a few of them on my wall, like sometimes, you know, people hang these like dry plants on the wall that looks very aesthetic. And I wanna, I have this um, wine bottle and I want to put a few in them but there's still wine in this but it's very old so it's probably not drinkable anymore so I'm gonna turn this into what I can use to put these flowers in and it's gonna look very aesthetic I'm just welling it in lukewarm water to get the stickers off It is Monday again, so we had a week of reading vlogs, so I'm gonna end this one here. Look, I hung up little dried roses. They make me very happy. Yeah, so I realized that I completely forgot to give any kind of update on NaNoWriMo, which started yesterday. Uh, all I can say about it right now is I did write my first 2,000 words yesterday, but I'll probably go into the NaNoWriMo project a little bit more in the next reading vlog. For now, I'm still reading A Deadly Education. I didn't read anything more since my update yesterday. But let me know what you thought of, you know, kind of the combination of study vlog and reading vlog that was today, because I think throughout my thesis, I can make way more like thesis productivity writing content in my reading vlogs that can maybe help you motivate to study a little bit aside from motivating you to read um, so let me know what you think of that if you like this video give it a like and if you haven't subscribed yet you can do that right now i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you soon in another one goodbye <laughs>